Tiny Games here. Welcome back to my channel. I'm here with a uh, long overdue uh, speed build for the um, Purple Cottage. Um, yeah, basically I've been wanting to make this uh, cottage very Tangled themed and there's an item that I've been waiting on for like months now. <laughs> um, been quite a while. I've been waiting to get the uh, Rapunzel painting table and I finally got it I finally got it guys I'm so excited so happy about it um, so it does mean that I can start this build so I have a little speed build for you all today it is going to be all the rooms in the cottage so um, there's quite a few different aspects of the build um, I hope you enjoy it and I'll see you at the end bye for now
is. <laughs> I'm sure I had a different plan for the third room in this build, but for some reason I, I forgot what that was. <laughs> so I just made a bathroom. Um, you'll see at the start of the video that I had a bit of a like, minor panic um, because I suddenly realised that I don't have enough cottagecore um, wallpapers. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> which kind of ruined things a little bit so I'm sure when I acquire some wallpapers this build will get updated a little bit um, but let me just give you a quick little walkthrough okay so when you start off this is the main room this is meant to be like a tavern a pub so we have the uh, tangled pub sign actually hung up there we have the shield um, we have quite a few wall decorations actually um, and I thought, what on earth is that table doing there? <laughs> Why did, where did you come from? <laughs> oh, this is the problem with this whole building mode is that there's, there is, there is a lot of glitches. I'm not going to lie. There's a lot of glitches. Um, we'll put that there for now. Um, <laughs> I, I decided to put in, um, Gaston's chair I thought it'd be really fitting in here along with the carved uh, bear chair as well and then I made this little setup um, for a sort of like the bar I guess you could say so we've got a few of the potion shelves and things like that I actually made use of a lot of the uh, frozen furniture which I think goes quite nicely with everything um, so yeah I just thought that would um, be quite fitting and I made some of the hot cocoa and the root beers just to make it look like there were beverages on the table um, if I go through here first so my plan was to have sort of like a pub in kind of theme um, so I'm obsessed with kind of like breaking rooms up to other rooms so this here is what I would consider like the budget accommodation. Uh, we've got a few rooms in a sort of shared sleeping location or a few beds, I should say. And then if we come in here, we have the slightly higher quality beds, slightly better decorated, um, your own private bathrobe there and everything and actually instead of closing off this wall, I decided to leave this open. I thought it just looked a bit more sort of posher I guess you could say um, and I'm really glad to be using the floating lights um, I happily have those floating candles in my village just dotted around kind of floating in the air <laughs> I wish we could do that because that would be total like sort of uh, witch core fairy core vibes but um, yeah alas they can only go and build so I tried to make use of them here um, and again just like a hanging shelf and a bookcase again just as some sort of living quarters um the most recent part as well if i come over here was the bathroom i did think i had a different plan for this third room but then i forgot what that was so i was just like okay let's just shove a bathroom in um i decided to go for the white panels this time which probably would make sense in a white room but given the rest of this is so dark it stands out a little bit um so I might need to rethink these <laughs> these uh, panels to create the kind of wall segments. In a modern build, this would really work. Um, but I've just put in the Mike and Sully bathtub and toilet, actually. I thought the toilet would go really well, so I paired them together. Then we've got the kin Kingdom of Corona sinks. Um, and then just a bit of sort of artwork on the wall and everything. Um, just to kind of add the decor. I did make use of these picture frames. Um, I actually seen this from, I think Dreamlight Decorista did this, where she used the old photo frames to kind of create this build. I think it was her anyway. Um, but yeah, I just kind of think it looks like a sort of a more older ornate style painting kind of thing. Um, and then we put in a couch as well. <laughs> Cause you know, you need to chill in a bathroom. And then round here, obviously where the kind of pub bar area is we've got our potions and our cooking station but this is uh meant to be like rapunzel's room so i made this little um painting station here with the um the window there i don't actually like that window too much like it doesn't go with a lot of stuff um 
but I think it's okay here. You can see this is sort of an art and decorating area, so it makes sense that it would be covered in paint and stuff. So I guess that makes sense and it's not too bad. Um, so what I did use was actually these gothic um, windows. Uh, I only have this colour variant. There's a lot of them and they're all very, very pretty. Um, and then obviously I hung the tangled painting up. I created kind of like a book area, book nook. Um, then we've got the main bed sleeping space. I can't actually get to that bit, but I don't think it matters too much. And then instead of creating like a wall with the like bookcases, because you can't use all the bookcases to create wall divides because some stick to the wall. Um, I use these partitions actually. I'd completely forgotten that I wanted to use these uh, sort of tree trunks for the main build in the um, centre room. But instead I used the Kingdom of Corona um, pillars. Um, so I had like I had to make use of them in here <laughs> like I couldn't get away with not doing that and then you just got this little sit seating area um, with the kind of like bookcases and everything and then the uh, tangled guitar so that kind of rounds everything off um, I'm actually really happy with this build uh, like there's a few little things that I would tweak um, if I had the items, I thought I had everything I needed for this build, but um, obviously not. Um, but I'm quite happy with how this turned out. I think it's a good little build. Um, I think it does look very cottagecore-y. I wish we had more choice on the doors um, and just little things like that, I think would tweak it and make it seem a bit better um but yeah overall i think this is really good i even made my own uh custom dress for the occasion uh which took a lot of work i'm not um very handy with the touch of magic tool but i thought this was a cute little dress anyway so um we kind of did all that as well so anyway i hope you enjoyed this little speed build um sorry if it goes on quite long for me it's been about two hours <laughs> <laughs> um, but obviously it'll be a lot shorter for you guys but yeah let me know what you think in the comments down below if you enjoyed this please feel free to like and subscribe to the channel for more disney dreamlight valley content and i'll see you all in the next video bye for now